you speak to an audience, do you speak with them or do you talk at them? It's not always an easy question to answer, but my definition of speaking with an audience is having a conversation, being conversational, asking questions, giving them time to think and reflect upon those questions, and having a dialogue. Now, that doesn't mean the audience always talks back to you. But it means you're reading their faces, their body language, their gestures, and paying attention to the mood in the room. When you talk at an audience, you're in speaker mode. You're almost lecturing, and you're really not listening to them. You're just getting through your material. Here's a quick comparison between the two. Imagine you're attending a conference, and I'm one of the featured speakers. I've been introduced as the business storytelling expert. If I'm speaking at you, I'd probably say something like this. Business storytelling is one of the most important skills you can develop. If you master this art, you can stand out from the crowd. If you don't, you'll fall behind your competitors. I know this from experience. Before I became a business storyteller, I wasn't getting a lot of re response and, and people taking action on my message. But afterwards, I tripled the number of respondents. More people lined up to talk to me whenever I gave a presentation. And that is the benefit that you can realize if you master the skill. If you don't, you're going to be left behind. How did that feel? Did you feel like I was talking with you in a conversational way, or was I lecturing you? Pretty obvious the answer to that one. What if instead I presented like this? Business storytelling is one of the most important skills you can develop. Now, I've tried different ways of presentation, and I've, I've found that stories make a deeper connection with your audiences. Think about the last great memorable speaker you heard. What do you remember about that person? Was it the story she told, or was it the facts that he presented? Chances are pretty good it was the storyteller, wasn't it? Think about your own presentations. Which ones have gotten the best response? Isn't it the ones with stories? I'm here to share with you some insights I've learned from some of the best storytellers in the world. And if you take just one or two of these ideas, I think you'll find that it can make a significant increase in your presentations and the response that you get from audiences. Now, how did that feel? Was that more conversational? Yeah, it was. Why? First of all, I wasn't ramming through my material. I was taking the time to talk conversationally, ask questions, and then give you time to think about it. The pause can create the conversation. And out of that conversation comes reflection and a deeper connection with the audience. The next time you practice your presentation and record it, I don't even have to ask if you're doing that anymore. I know you are. And you're reviewing it, right? As you're reviewing that recording, ask yourself this question. Am I coming across as speaking with my audience or am I talking at them? Also, ask your evaluators the same question. Now, be prepared. You might not like the answers you hear. However, that is the critical feedback you need to go from a speaker to a communicator who leaves a lasting message. Get out there and record yourself and see how you're coming across. I'll talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.